This is Jim Holland, and I'm the uh, Vice President for the Workin Concrete Products here in North America. And I'm standing here in front of the SP33. This is a new model that replaces the, uh, prede its predecessor was the uh, SP15. So a few things that we've updated here, let's just start with the uh, conveyor. So you can see that we've really simplified the conveyor, um, shortened the height of it uh, to give it uh, less maintenance. We've reduced the amount of rollers in there, so that's really helpful as far as uh, from a maintenance standpoint. And as well, we have an improved scraper, which is one of the uh, challenges that people had with any curb and gutter machine um, about getting the mud into that uh, mold was having a proper scraper. So, uh, so that's, that's been a big improvement for us. We also will offer this machine with the auger. The auger is the same as it was on the SP15. Uh, the nice thing is, is the mounting uh, on this machine as well. We can either put the standard belt on there or we could put the uh, auger on there. So that's really nice for, uh, for a customer who may want to switch later um, and, you know, or different applications and maybe they have an auger and then maybe want to uh, switch to a uh, belt conveyor uh, later on. So we're as well showing, you know, some of the things that you'll notice that are the differences We've really just changed the color, so you'll definitely need recognize the fact that whether the SP15, uh, the older machine versus the new generation machine. Um, so that, that's how it stands out. We have put the vibrator circuits here on the uh, side of the machine, and we'll, we can equip it with a standard six. We're an optional up to eight vibrators, which is critical because uh, one of the extended applications I'll mention here in just a minute. Um, one of the things here, we're, we're showing it with the premium offset mount, um, and this actually, we have a uh, updated trimmer. So the trimmer is uh, much more powerful than it was on the, on the previous model. And we got away from the conical pick and went to more of a spade type carbide uh, tooth, and as well have uh, updated the uh, auger, discharge auger um, on this machine as well. Um, we can offer this showing a left hand trimmer. We can also offer it as a right hand trimmer. This one here we're showing is actually an eight foot wide trimmer and we're showing it in front of an offset seven foot sidewalk mold. So on this size machine to have a, an eight foot trimmer and an offset seven foot sidewalk mold is really unheard of without having to do anything to the frame itself. Um, you know, we could also put a curb and gutter uh, mold on there and this machine will take uh, molds from other manufacturers. So if you have a yard full of molds from one of the other brands, we have adapters that we can put that on as well. So, uh, you know, some of the other things that we have done here is really the operating system is the big deal. Um, we have gone away from uh, really the hydraulic controls. So in the past, you would have seen the hydraulic manifold here for the vibrators. Instead, that's all controlled electronically. The nice thing about this operating system as well is that you can uh, add other uh, systems on there. So when you want to add 3D, it's much simpler. Um, and then we'll be able to do paving performance uh, systems as we develop those and as the, uh, as the market develops. The other really nice thing is, is that to move from the left side to the right side is as simple as moving the consoles over. And since you don't, since we're controlling all the vibrators electronically through the control panel, we no longer have to move the manifold, which actually took longer. So to be able to go from the left side to the right side could be a 30 minute job or less. Um, you know, some of the other things that we have, um, you'll note we have two cylinders here on the rear leg. And the reason we're doing that is because one of the extended uh, capabilities is the SP15 did not have the ability to put a paving kit underneath it. This machine actually has a cross pave function. So with this second cylinder, we can actually turn that track and as well the front tracks 90 degrees and we could uh, mount up to a 10 foot paving mold underneath it and go in the cross pave mode without doing anything to the machine other than putting the premium mount one time for it to accept that mold. Um, so if you want to go from offset to inset, you could do that in as, you know, under two hours, probably an hour and a half, even less if you don't take the conveying system off. So that's a really big uh, push. And uh, as well, then we have these comfort boxes. So for setup, uh, we can have up to five boxes on there. So these are great. So you have, instead of having to have a, 
uh, operator up top and one on the ground taking measurements, you know, we can do everything from down low. So now, now while you're getting everything set up, one operator can be taking the measurements off the string line off grade and be making adjustments right here as they prepare. That way all the other workers can be doing other things on the job site to get ready for the day or to finish up the day. So um, we're really excited about all this capability, expanded application possibilities, and being able to do that from in one machine without a lot of transformation. Uh, very easy to go from offset to inset. For the latest in construction equipment, sign up for our daily newsletter. Just click the link below.